haze over the front range foothills and mountains, and that is smoke being transported to the east toward Denver. Still the Badger Creek fire burning up in far southern Wyoming, not far from the Colorado state line. Some of that smoke making its way toward Denver. The Baco fire out in Eagle County, there's still some smoke from that one. Of course, we've been talking about the Buffalo fire and then the 416 fire down in Durango. The smoke from that one pretty much making its way toward Pagosa Springs and Alamosa, not really the Denver metro area. Radar, in addition to the fires, we're talking a lot about what happened in Colorado Springs early this morning. Between 1230 and about 330 this morning, El Paso County got hit hard with some really large hail and it's done a lot of damage. Those storms have since moved on out of the area, but everywhere you see a blue dot down here in El Paso County, that's where they had hail at least the size of quarters from Black Forest right on through the heart of the springs and then down toward security and fountain. Largest hail uh, reported officially two and a half inches in fountain. We've had some pictures showing the hail. Alyssa Russell, look at this picture, El Paso County. Look at those hailstones, just how large they are. The damage uh, similar to what we saw on the northwest side of Denver last May. Look at these windshields. Look at all the damage to some of these vehicles. There's going to be a lot of insurance claims coming out of El Paso County. That's for sure. Uh, those storms now out on the far eastern plains moving into Kansas pretty quickly. Within another hour or two, all the storms should be out of Colorado. We'll then be dry through the majority of the day. Heat is really the big story again today. Back up to around 90 in the metro area. 70s and 80s in the mountains. 80s and 90s for the western slope today. And then tomorrow, even hotter. 95 degrees degrees in Denver, the kind of heat we had last weekend. That's coming back for Thursday. We'll see triple digit heat in southern Colorado, uh, even out in Ray, 100 degrees possible tomorrow. With the extra heat and the dryness, a red flag warning has already been posted for mountain areas west of Vail Pass all the way out into eastern Utah for tomorrow. And then on the eastern plains, we have a marginal threat for severe weather today. Here's the future cast. Again, those storms leaving the state this morning were dry through the midday hours. In Denver, we've only got a 20% chance for a late day storm, but out on the eastern Plains, a much higher chance for seeing thunderstorms by late afternoon into this evening. And as these storms march east later today, they will likely become strong to severe. Large hail being the biggest concern. A damaging wind and isolated tornado can't be ruled out. So 90s today, tomorrow and Friday in Metro Denver. And then 89 on Saturday, down to 79 on Father's Day. Best chance to rain over the next five days is on Sunday.